This video will show you how to install the QNIX operating system on a Raspberry Pi 4. Before you start, make sure you already have an assembled Raspberry Pi 4, have a network cable connected to the Pi, have a USB to TTL serial cable, and have a MyQNIX account created, and have a QNIX license attached to that account. First, Let's download the QNIX Software Center at QNIX.com. On this website, sign in to your MyQNIX account at this link. Then navigate to the Developers menu and select QNIX Software Center. On this page, find the download matching your operating system. After downloading, install the software using the typical installation process for your operating system. When you launch Software Center, you will need to enter your MyQNIX username and password. Then, let's add an installation to set up QNIX development tools. Click Add Installation. First, I will install the Momentix development environment. After selecting, I click Next through the Install Wizard. I will click Run in Background to show you the next development tool install. Again, from Add Installation, select Software Development Platform 7.1. These are the command line tools, such as the C++ compiler. One install remains. We need to install the Raspberry Pi specific software. Click Manage Installations and go to the Available tab. Under QNIX Software Development Platform, find Board Support Packages, expand that, and then find the Raspberry Pi BSP. Select the Raspberry Pi BSP and click the blue Install button on right. Again, click through Next to complete the wizard. We have now downloaded all of the QNIX software that we require. Let's put the SD card into the USB card reader. Insert the USB reader into your computer. It will ask you to format the disk, which you can proceed to do. Make sure you're doing a FAT32 format and proceed to format your SD card. Now we're going to get and place all of the boot files for QNIX onto the SD card. Go to your user folder under C, Users, and your username. Then go to the QNIX 710 folder, the BSP folder, and extract the Raspberry Pi BSP zip file. Open a browser and go to the GitHub link shown in this video's description. We will download Raspberry Pi firmware files from this web page. Let's place them with the BSP files. Open the unzipped BSP file folder, then open the image folder, then tools, and then the SD boot images folder. Now let's grab the files we need. There are nine files with a four in the name, the BSM chips firmware, four fix up four files, for startup for files. Note that I right click to open each file in a new tab. In these tabs, I right click on View Raw and then save each to the SD Tools Images folder. There's a lot of files. I'll skip ahead to the end of the download. Let's go back to the files that we've downloaded. There's 10 files here in total, including the original config file that came with uh, the BSP. Now let's open up the USB card reader to see the SD card that's empty currently. Let's copy those 10 files onto the SD card. There's one other file we need, the actual image file that contains QNIX itself. So go up two folders to the images folder and find the bin file the IFS QNIX 4 bin file and drag that as well to the SD card. Now let's get that SD card back into the Raspberry Pi. Now we need to hook up the serial cable to the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi uses TTL connections that go to the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi board. The GPIO pinouts are shown on diagrams that you can find online. In our case, we will use pins 6, 8, and 10. The black wire for ground is connected to pin 6. The 
transmit uh, pin is connected to the white wire and the receive pin is connected to the green wire as shown. Note that the red wire is not connected. It is for providing power to a device and this should not be used with our setup. Please use the power supply provided with the Raspberry Pi. Here's me and fast forward quickly connecting those TTL wires. Again, note I did not connect the red wire. Going to go back to Windows now and download the driver for the serial USB cable. The driver links are in the Adafruit link shown in the description below. Extract the driver zip file, and then locate and run the 64-bit installer. I'll assume that the PuTTY application is already installed on your computer. If not, find it at putty.org. With the serial cable connected to the Raspberry Pi and your computer, open up Device Manager. With the previously installed driver, you should have a port for the serial cable and you need to find the COM number, in my case COM3. Open up the PuTTY software. Create a new session. Click the serial radio button. Set the port to the COM number that you found in Device Manager and set the speed to 115200. Click Open to connect to Serial. Then power on the Pi by plugging in the power adapter. You should see QNIX boot messages. If you have a network cable attached to the Pi, you can now run the command ifconfig to find the Pi's IP address. Mine isn't connected, so I just see zeros for its IP. With the IP address, you can use Telnet, FTP, or even control the Pi from the Momentix IDE.